In the 28th episode of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the new Asus CPU coolers, the new Deepcool Gamer Storm CPU cooler, the new Thermal Take cooler, and finally, some new EK water block pump and heatsink covers. We start with Asus and their new line of liquid CPU coolers, the ROG Strix LC2. This new line of liquid CPU coolers is based on the latest generation of Asetek CPU coolers, the seventh generation of coolers to be exact. The ROG Strix LC2 series includes a total of five different models with different radiator sizes, 240mm, 280mm and 360mm. The 240mm variant also has a lower end non-RGB model. Other features found on these CPU coolers include plenty of RGB across the board and especially around the CPU block and pump assembly area. The included 120mm fans have a minimum speed of 850rpm and a maximum speed of 2500rpm, which is pretty fast and it will get pretty loud. The 140mm fans have a minimum speed of 700rpm and a maximum speed of 2100rpm, which is lower but still very fast and loud for a 140mm fan. There is no pricing at this time for these CPU coolers, but we can expect them to be more expensive than the regular Asetek based CPU coolers. Not only because there's RGB involved here, but also because there's an additional ASUS tax that we are paying for these kind of products. We continue with Deepcool and the new GamerStorm Castle 360EX ARGB IEO CPU cooler. What's up with these long names for products these days, I don't understand. Anyway, this cooler is the top of the line model of the GamerStorm Castle series. This new cooler features a dual chamber pump setup with a maximum rated speed of 2550 RPM. On the top of the CPU block and pump assembly, there is an infinity mirror which is surrounded by addressable RGB LEDs. This type of reflective mirror-like surfaces will create a halo effect that fades towards the center. It is a good effect, but it is also being played out too much these days as everyone has it. This cooler uses a 360mm radiator, which can accommodate up to three 120mm fans on each side. This radiator also has the feature that Deepcool calls anti-leak techy side, which normalizes the pressure of the air inside the loop. The used fans are the Deepcool CF120 models, which feature hydraulic bearings and have a minimum speed of 500 RPM and a maximum speed of 1800 RPM. The expected price of this particular cooler is around 170 US dollars, but we shall see about that when the cooler actually hits the market. And now we have Thermal Tay news. The company has announced the Flowe RC240 and 360 Snow Edition AEO CPU Plus memory coolers. Now, we have seen these coolers before, or at least something that used the same shared cooling loop system. The idea behind these coolers is that the loop used to move the heat away from the CPU is also used to cool the RAM modules of the system. The memory blocks used for cooling are unfortunately only compatible with Thermaltake's Tough RAM DDR4 RAM series, which adds more complication to an already complicated system. The included fans have a minimum speed of 500 RPM and a maximum speed of 1500 RPM. The coolers are available in a wide variety of sizes for the radiator and there is also a special all-white edition called the Snow Edition. No words on the price just yet, but if we judge other similar cooling systems offered by Thermaltake, this will not be cheap at all, especially since you have to buy yourself a new RAM kit if you are not already using the Thermaltake Tough RAM kits. And finally, we have EK Waterblocks news, as the company has introduced the brand new D5 and DDC pump heatsinks and covers. These heatsinks are called the Quantum and are compatible with both the D5 and the DDC pumps. The Quantum heatsinks are available in three variants, silver, black and nickel. The main purpose of these heatsinks is to passively cool the pumps while also improving the overall design of the system, because some people might not like the way the pumps look like, especially when the pumps are installed in a crystal clear acrylic reservoirs or blocks. Both the DDC and the D5 pump heatsinks and covers are already available for pre-order on the EK Waterblock website. The prices are what we can expect from such products, with the D5 heatsink going as much as 38.90 US dollars or euros. And this is the end of the episode number 28 of the ASAB Tech News. 
one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.